Quite often what stops a person from being able to innovate is really in their mind more than it is in the real life barriers that are around them. Where most boot camps that you go to talk about lean startup and how to come up with a good idea, we cover those too, but we really focus on helping you become an entrepreneur psychologically and creating the right culture within your team to make them successful. In just three or four days, we can make real significant changes in the outcome of how a person can apply their skills. It's not only lessons and facts, you know, it's a culture. It gives you a language to speak about entrepreneurship. One of the basic ideas is that diversity equals value. That people who are different from each other have the opportunity to trade skills or knowledge. We bring students and professors and entrepreneurs from all different parts of the world. And in that collision, they meet people they've never would have imagined meeting before. They get to collaborate with others in vastly different markets, different disciplines. It's quite interesting to have some different point of view from people coming from different backgrounds because here in the bootcamp there is quite a lot of people coming from different places. The cornerstone of the program is to create an environment where you feel safe enough to collide. In my country we don't share ideas. We think ideas are really valuable. Here they tell you everyone has ideas. It's all about execution. So you better start sharing the idea with someone to tell you if the idea is good, bad, or it can be improved. We'd like to have people who are representing the corporate environment. Not only do they add the perspective of companies and what they are seeing within industry, but they can also bring these types of skills back and be much more effective within their positions inside the companies. Being in a company, you get siloed. You get into individual bubbles where you see a problem from one angle. You may solve it a certain way, but it's not until you pop that bubble, come to the outside, and you actually see from the eyes of the entrepreneur, the eyes of the consumer, the eyes of other stakeholders in the problem that you can actually solve it. One of the unique aspects of the Berkeley Method is that we use games to educate. We want to underscore those lessons with actual activities to build muscle memory. What you find quickly is that people behave in interesting ways when they have to be in groups and under pressure. So by identifying the behavior patterns that you show in these games, you're able to adjust things that you don't like, that you think are not beneficial to your startup or your business, and what things really are helpful. People who are entrepreneurs have these behaviors, and we can have people both first understand what these behaviors are, and through certain types of exercises, we can build these behaviors into people, and it multiplies their ability to be effective. There's a lot of moments of reflection, there's a lot of moments of talking to each other, and they force you to interact in ways that you're not used to interact. There's so many resources, so many speakers, so many people who are just interested in entrepreneurship and have so much to offer, and I want to be a part of that. We just listened to Charles Wang, who founded the Guitar Hero franchise. I think the, the most fun part was the elevator pitch, because that's where we really took action. The elevator pitch is the proverbial sales pitch that every company and every entrepreneur needs to have. Typically, it ranges from five to 20 seconds. So you have a very little amount of time to really get the essence of what you do across, but also get someone excited about listening to more. You should believe yourself more than we normally think. And uh, the market's huge. There are a lot of possibilities. Think big. That's the message. Even for the most seasoned and the most jaded entrepreneur who thinks they know every answer to every problem, a boot camp like this instills humility. Almost every one of the participants realizes that there was something that was available for them to learn. I'm inspired by seeing so many students now who believe they can be entrepreneurs. When you first work with them, you could barely get a word out of them. But a couple years later, you see that they've raised money. They can pitch in front of venture capitalists and in front of a large audience, and somehow they have found their voice. 
They got some help, but they had to become these people. That's really inspiring to know that you had just some part of that process.